Why do they suck to the square nose Pete so much? To try and elevate their image. It's all image for them. It don't get them nowhere. It don't do nothing for you to drive a truck like that. They, make, they think it make them look cool. Okay, you really gotta watch what you say on here, dude, because you're gonna rile up truckers and they're gonna... Ch I can't wait to see the comments under this. Okay, then I'm gonna ask you another question because I know how you're gonna answer. And answer as free as you wanna answer, okay? Long nose Peterbilt, regular Freightliner. Freightliner. Why? Fuel mileage, ease of driving in tight areas, more spacious in the cab, more comfortable. Then, then more if, amenities. If that's it, then why, cheaper to work on. Then why do the um, we'll call them the roll guys. Why do they suck to the square nose Pete so much? To try and elevate their image. It's all image for them. They don't get them nowhere. They don't do nothing for you to drive a truck like that. They make they think it make them look cool. That's the most pathetic thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. I mean, some of them, you gotta admit, some of them do look cool. Oh, yeah, they're hot as can be, but what's it doing for you? If you were an owner up, would you buy one of them? Not in, not in a million years. There's owner I don't need self-validation to make myself feel good. <laughs> you <th> <laughs> I told y'all this is gonna be a fucking awful <laughs> interview. <laughs> you believe that it's self-validation? It's something. It isn't business-minded. It isn't work related. Have, you, have take you, out, you take that big flat nose Pete, that big sexy truck, and, and you put the same trailer on the on the freight liner next to it, they'll both pull it up the hill. What do you get out of it? Yeah, but they don't it doesn't have an eighteen speed, sixteen hundred cap motor in that. I've driven eighteen speed, thirteen speed, eight L L. I've driven them all. They're all the same. They don't do no different. Right now you're speaking truck and blasphemy right now. So I'm just gonna say, look, this is what he is saying. I'm not saying this. It's it's him. This you know, is, them guys want to say, oh, I got an 18 speed. Well, you don't even split the bottom gears anyways. You're running it like a 13. Most of them run it like an 8. True. 9, whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, because we had we had them in the oil field, and, and we had them jacked up. They, they had theirs jacked up, too. Yeah, they had all their motors wide open. So we were running 600-plus motors up them hills, and no matter... Them trucks did run, though. Yeah. Yeah, no matter. I mean, we used to dirt bag and race them in the in, yeah. <laughs> in the backwoods. <laughs> but um, oh, they can't say anything. We don't work for them no more. But um, you know, I, I put one of those on this side. Did you know that? No, <laughs> I did oh, not all the way. Like it was like a ditch, and uh, I I was dirt bagging it around this corner, and it just slid and hit on the ditch. So it was kind of just like sideways, like this a little bit. And I just backed out, and it got its footing. Those things were tanks, man. It got oh, yeah, they go through anything. And it's been on its side so much that if you look on the side, you can't even tell. Right. So, oh, my God, dude, I almost pissed myself, man. I was like, dang, I got to slow down. I, I watched going. a lot of them guys put them on their sides. That one, what was that dude? He's alcoholic. Rick. No, the other one, the short little one. Short, 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 short. I don't remember. You know, the only name I remember was Rick and the tall homoerotic weirdo that we thought was a serial killer. I don't remember his name. Big dude. Big I stupid. drove the Peterbilt. Yeah, he had a he had a, a, a cool-ass old-school Ford pickup truck. Yeah. That Harley ran. I forget his name, but he creeped me out. I mean, he made me feel like he had people living in his basement chained up. But freaking... Um, I'm, I'll tell you who, who, who tapped out the most or who bottomed out the most or who crashed the most. It was, um, it was, um, sand truck drivers. They got right. stuck the most. I watched one just slide right off of the, right off of the road. Just one move. None of those moving. It just. Because of the trailer. All the weight was on the trailer. It was not on the drives. It, it, true. True. So you saying he, uh, he did. Because that one rolled off the hill right next to us. Well, was that night? Yeah, it was in the middle of the night. We were sitting at what, Guard Shack 2 out at that one well site. 
we were there for like four or five hours just sitting there and that sand can come up alongside of us and flopped over right next to us. <laughs> rolled right down the hill next to us. That was hilarious. <laughs> One of the worst decisions I made, going local. Really? Yes. Why? I did it too soon. I think going local 